Hi everyone, Katie Gehring here for Waffle Flower Crafts. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how I made this interactive window shutter card featuring images from the book and coffee stamp set illustrated by Big Bear and Bird. Let's take a look at some of the products I'll be using on today's card. Um, first up is the books and coffee stamp set. I'm going to be using both the stamped images along with the coordinating dies. I'll be using the A2 arch window die, both the window frame itself as well as some of the um, foliage vine shapes. I'll be using the A2 window shutter die for an interactive element. And then finally, I'll be using these um, A2 nested dome dies to create a shape note card as well as a backer for my window scene. So my first step is always to stamp the images that I'm going to be using in my card onto white card stock using um, Memento Tuxedo Black ink. The reason that I'm using Memento ink is I'll be coloring in the images with Copic markers and Memento is a Copic friendly ink. Whenever I'm making a card that's going to feature multiple stamped images, I will typically stamp all of the images out first onto cardstock and then color them all and then die cut them all. And it just helps my process be more efficient rather than taking care of one item at a time. So I'm going to stamp these books twice um, because there's possibility in my design to really kind of stack up those books in the windowsill but I will only end up using one of the images. Now it's time to start coloring with Copic markers and I thought I would just show you um, my process for coloring in the Big Bear image. I use um, the E40 series and specifically the colors that I'm using today are E42, E43, 4, 4, and 4, 7. I flood the image with the lightest color and then I work in some of the darker shades as I go to the left of the image and just kind of overlapping them, laying in the colors, going from light to dark. And then once all those colors are laid in, I go back over with the progressively lighter markers in order to get a nice blending action. I just love these images illustrated by Big Bear and Bird, especially this bear image. He is just the cutest. And I have to say that I love his round glasses. They sort of remind me of Harry Potter. So I was kind of imagining a little bit of a Hogwarts theme as I was picking out my colors. Here you can see the house colors are all represented. I made a trip to the die cut machine where I die cut the images with a coordinating die and I also cut out the A2 arch window die. Then I took a piece of watercolor cardstock and I cut it with the largest of the A2 nested dome dies which is exactly the same size as the A2 arch window die. So it's really convenient to have your backing layer cut using those A2, our, um, A2 nested dome dies. So now I'm adding a little bit of Distress Oxide ink to the panel of the watercolor cardstock. I started with the fossilized amber and then I'm going in with the darker shade of, um, I believe this is Wild Honey that I'm using. So once I have the panel covered with the ink and there you can see what it's going to look like with the arch window die over it, I'm going to just spray it with a little bit of water water and blot it with a paper towel to give it kind of that candlelight glow bokeh effect which I think is really really pretty. So there you can see what it is going to look like with the um, window frame over it. Now I'm ready to start adhering some of these elements into place. I'm going to start with the arch window shape and because my interactive elements are going to be more around um, the shutters, which I'll get to in just a moment, I'm actually going to eventually adhere those window panes completely shut. Um, I've just kept them open and haven't completely adhered them down because I wanna tuck in the bears and, and the book and the plant and all of that. 
I'm ready to stamp my sentiment and I'm going to use happiness is a good book so I just took some scissors and I snipped off the ampersand and put it back in the stamp set so that I can make a full sentiment if I want to but this is a really great way especially when you're working with clear stamps to get a customized sentiment so there it says happiness is a good book now I have a die cut four of the A2 window shutter shapes from brown cardstock and I'm going to make this into an interactive element using some paper hinges. So how this will work is that I have cut four shapes so that we have um, a nice die cut showing whether or not the it is open or shut but then those paper hinges are going to go in between the shutters and then also kind of tuck behind that watercolor panel here. So I am adhering the two shutter shapes together. You see I've got that hinge sticking out there. And then I'm going to add a little bit of adhesive to the hinge and stick it to the back of the watercolor panel. And I will repeat the same process for the other side of the card so that when the shutters are closed, it completely conceals the little window scene that is inside. So now I'm going to make my shaped card base and I'm doing that by pulling out those nested dome dies. Again, I'm using the largest die that coordinates perfectly with that arch window shape. And I am going to position it such that the die extends beyond the top fold of the card. And the reason that I don't want to die cut that is that that's going to make my, um, that's going to enable the card to stand up and fold and be all intact. So you simply have to then adhere the, um, you know, the finished card panel to the note card and everything matches up perfectly. So in order to keep my panels shut, my shutters shut, um, I'm making a belly band for the card and I pulled out the open here stamp set and I am stamping the open word with black ink on to a strip of craft card stock. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some score lines and I'm going to score it at four and a quarter because that is how wide my card is. And then I am going to add um, some additional score lines because the card is thick. So there's a few different Different layers of cardstock that we have built up here so in order to keep my belly band looking nice and neat I'm going to just add another small score line to give it a, um, a little bit of give so you can kind of see there how I'm accommodating for the thickness of the card and then once that's in place I'm just going to hold the belly band in place with a little bit of score tape and then slide it on and when your recipient gets the card they can slide it off and then open up the window scene and then of course you can have your sentiment or your note written inside. That's going to be it for me today, but I thought I would just take one last look at the finished project. It was really fun to put together, and I think it'll be fun for a recipient to receive just because there's so many different interactive elements at play here between the shutters and the belly band, and then of course the shaped note card. For more information about the products that I used in today's video, please visit waffleflower.com. Subscribe to our YouTube channel for more creative ideas and tutorials. And don't forget to follow us on Instagram and Facebook. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.